Hello everyone, welcome to EduCare 247. This is the first lecture of important MCQ series for UPSC EPFO 2020. In our first lecture, we are discussing MCQs based on Indian polity. In this series, we will be covering all the topics mentioned in the syllabus. And this is exclusive YouTube series, so you can subscribe to EduCare 247 for further updates. Humanity is going through one of the biggest crises from their existence and at this moment knowledge and science is the only hope. You are also advised to not roam around unnecessarily, sit at your home and maintain social distancing. While sitting at your home, you can easily prepare for UPSC EPFO 2020. EduCare 247 is giving 50% discount on their comprehensive course and this course is very much important for your preparation. Under this course, we are covering the detailed syllabus. We are providing 10,000 plus MCQs. Test series will be also there. Our content are very crisp and concise and live doubt session will be taken care. You will get the 1500 discount and the course will be for 1499. So visit our website EduCare 247 and subscribe to this course. The first question is the practice of fiscal federalism in India involves which of the following? Option A is distribution of financial powers between center and state. Option B is devolution of central pools to states. Option C is setting up of financial commission every five years. And option D is all of the above. The answer is D. A, B, C all are the part of fiscal federalism. Federalism basically means division of responsibilities and functions between center and states and fiscal federalism is an important component of federalism. So basically in fiscal federalism all financial matters conducted between center and state with a view of political federal structure keeping in mind is regulated. So in 14th finance commission there was a major change in terms of fiscal federalism. Earlier only 32% of central divisional pools were going to the states but after that 42% is going to the state. Basically it will boost the fiscal federalism. It will empower states to take their own decision. So this was a major change in terms of fiscal federalism and this question is very important to understand the concept of fiscal federalism. The next question is which of the following is are the constitutional functions of Indian Parliament? Statement 1 is settling disputes between various government departments. Statement 2 is supervising the work of state legislatures. Statement 3 is appointing the heads of all constitutional bodies. Now you have to tell which of these following statement is correct. The answer is D. None of them are correct. Basically the statement one is saying government departments dispute is settled by the parliament that is wrong it is settled by the cabinet basically the prime minister so this statement was wrong statement two is parliament supervise the state legislature that is also wrong nobody supervises the work of state legislature at most parliament can interfere in state legislature matters in special circumstances like national emergency and when Raj Sabha is passing some resolution. Statement 3 is also wrong because head of constitutional bodies are appointed by the president. That is also a very important question. You just keep all these points in your mind. The next statement is consider the following statements about fundamental duties. Statement 1 is the constitution authorizes courts for enforcement of fundamental duties. Statement 2 is, while some fundamental duties are applicable to Indian citizens, few are applicable to foreigners. Now you have to tell which of these following statement is are incorrect. The answer is C. Both statement 1 and 2 is incorrect. Like directive principles, the fundamental duties are also non-justifiable. So basically, the constitution does not provide any direct enforcement of these duties by the courts and there is no legal sanction against their violation. However, the parliament is free to enforce them by suitable legislation. So basically parliament can frame any law for the enforcement of fundamental duties but before law it is not enforced by 
द कोर्ट्स एंड द फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज आर कन्फाइंड टू सिटीजन ओनली देयर इज नो एक्सटेंशन फॉर द फॉरनर सो स्टेटमेंट टू इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग सो एंसर इज सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पार्लियामेंट कैन मेक लॉज ऑन द स्टेट सब्जेक्ट इनोमरेटेड इन द स्टेट लिस्ट टू गिव इफेक्ट टू इंटरनेशनल एग्रीमेंट्स ट्रीटीज एंड कन्वेंशन विथ ऑप्शन ए इज कंसेंट ऑफ द स्टेट कंसर्न ऑप्शन बी इज कंसेंट ऑफ मेजोरिटी ऑफ स्टेट्स ऑप्शन सी इज कंसेंट ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट्स ऑप्शन डी इज विदाउट द कंसेंट ऑफ एनी स्टेट द एंसर इज डी आर्टिकल टू फिफ्टी थ्री सेज दैट पार्लियामेंट हैज पावर टू मेक एनी लॉ फॉर द होल और एनी पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रीटी ऑफ इंडिया फॉर इंप्लीमेंटिंग एनी ट्रीटी एग्रीमेंट और कन्वेंसन विथ एनी अदर कंट्री और कंट्रीज और एनी डिसीजन मेड एट एनी इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेज एसोसिएशन और अदर बॉडीज सो बेसिकली पार्लियामेंट कैन फ्रेम द लॉ विदाउट टेकिंग द कंसेंट ऑफ एनी स्टेट फॉर द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रीटी और कॉन्फ्रेंस और कन्वेंसन सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट कीप दिस पॉइंट इन योर माइंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ए इज फंडामेंटल राइट्स आर नॉट सेक्रोसेंट स्टेटमेंट बी इज फंडामेंटल राइट्स प्रमोट द आइडियल ऑफ पॉलिटिकल डेमोक्रेसी स्टेटमेंट सी इज द सिक्स राइट्स गारंटेड बाई आर्टिकल नाइनटीन कैन बी सस्पेंडेड विन द इमरजेंसी इज डिक्लेयर्ड ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ एक्सटर्नल एग्रेशन एंड आर्म रिबिलियन स्टेटमेंट डी इज law made to enforce fundamental rights can be made only by the parliament and not by the state legislature now you have to give the answer which of the following statement is not correct so answer is c statement c is not correct apart from that all the statement for the fundamental right is correct the sixth right guaranteed by article 19 can be suspended only when the emergency is declared on the ground of external aggression external emergency and not in the case of when the emergency is declared in the case of internal emergency like armed rebellion so be careful it was very confusing in the last part of the statement so answer is c hope you have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video like share and comment and subscribe to educate 247 thank you and happy learning